So you're not going to buy the OM1? Why not? Roll credits. <laughs> Calimera of YouTube, Brian Jibs at Micro Four Thirds guy with you once again with a very, very, very quick update video. And I'm still out, as you can see, in Paphos in Cyprus, totally enjoying the sunshine. I um, hope that the weather's good with you. I believe it's been fun and games back in the UK, um, but um, it's beautiful 31 degrees out here in Paphos this morning. And it's, um, well, it's only just gone midday, so um, we're getting the, the top of the temperature at the moment. As you can see from this video, I've come to a bit of a conclusion. And the conclusion is that I'm not going to be spending my money on the OM1. Or at least not for the good foreseeable future, not until it becomes decent second-hand prices. So why is that? Why have I gone down this route? Because it is a fabulous camera. We've established that it's got all the features you could possibly need and more. So why have I gone down this route? Well, very simple. Um, if you've seen some of my previous videos, there's, uh, there's, there's links above to, to some of them, you'll see that I am out in Cyprus and that I've decided to bring my, my EM1 Mark II along with me. And it's meant as a holiday camera. I'm not taking photographs professionally anymore and I've got no intention of going back to that. So my photography is purely and simply for me now. If they work out as terrible shots or if they work out as masterpieces, it doesn't really matter. It's for me to decide what I want to do with them. But that's also decided on what I need for a camera. Now, when I was going in to do professional shoots, I needed top class gear because I needed it to be ultra reliable and um, to give the ultra best results that I possibly could out of what I had. And that was important to me at the time. It was really important because my clients re relied on that. I'm not taking photographs for that reason anymore. And by walking around with the EM1 Mark II, I've realized that it's just an absolutely fabulous camera. Now, I've got a collection of cameras, as you know. I've got the G9, which again, as you look at the link above, is a fabulous camera. They really are superb. The GX8, there was an awful lot of you suggested bring that along. Again, a fabulous camera. And all of those cameras, including the older 16 megapixel EM1 Mark I, um, they just do excel at what they do. They really are very, very good pieces of kit. And I can't really do much better with the photographs I'm taking by getting more expensive or better facilitated cameras. I'm just not gonna improve it much. And for what I would improve it, it's a huge outlay. Now, when I was shooting professionally, I used to take two cameras to shoot, so I always had a backup. I'm not needing that anymore, so I don't necessarily need the cameras that I've got, but I do enjoy having the cameras. So what's put me off the M1? Well, very simply this, the majority of pho photographs that I'm taking, and when I say majority, I'm at about 99.9 .9 recurring percent. I can take perfectly well on the cameras that I have. The OM1, although it's got some fantastic features, is not going to give me that increase in performance that I would need to take the odd 0.001% of shots that I might take occasionally. I'm not a sports photographer, I'm not a nature photographer. If I do anything like that, or if I have a job to do something like that, I'd rather spend the money and go out and hire an OM1 for a couple of days to take the shots that I need to rather than to put the investment in the camera itself. But what's wrong with the OM1? Why wouldn't I want to do it? Well, very, very simple. I just can't really afford almost £2,000 to go out and spend another, another camera body, which I don't need for 99.9% .9 of the time. And it's nothing more, nothing less than that. Now, I'm going to get some criticism, and I know this, from the people who've either ordered the OM1 and think it's the best thing since sliced bread. I tend to agree with you, it probably is. Or the people who are taking primarily shots in those what I class as the, the more esoteric niche areas, the sports, the nature, the, um, the, the ones where you really are pushing the camera to the limit. You will criticise, and I understand that criticism. It's not aimed at you, it's not deriding what you do with it, and I think for somebody like yourselves, you really do need that camera. But for me, it's a lot of expenditure for something I don't need. And I did report actually as well about the possibility of, a, of an announcement in July for the OM5. Now, that may be a better option if I was to go and buy a new camera. But again, do I need a new camera? Do I actually need anything of a camera body? You see, I've always had this theory that camera bodies are very short-term things in reality. They've got a limited life because the technology has been advancing and advancing with sensor size and all sorts of things. 
but the lenses tend to stay the lenses tend to work really well so I think I would rather invest my money in better glass which I can keep for longer term and also tends to have a better resale value it does tend to hold its value far better than the uh, the, the bodies themselves so that's where we're at will I be buying an OM or one not until they come down considerably in, in, on the used market um, and even then I'd have to think as to what the real advantage I'm going to be getting is I have talked about getting uh, an AM one X and I'm still quite in the idea of that the only off button for the thing for the AM one X is the fact that you have got the extra bulk of a battery box on it a battery grip although it's not a detachable one obviously and it's a lack of detachability which makes it awkward because at least with the AM one mark two or AM one mark three I can take the battery box off the bottom and I've got a small neat micro four thirds camera so if I'm going to be upgrading, I think I'd probably go for another EM1 Mark II or possibly upgrade the EM1 Mark III because the prices on the used market for the EM1 Mark III are getting really, really good. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. really would appreciate to see that. And uh, don't forget, while you're look, putting something in the comments, hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up as well because that helps YouTube's algorithms to spread these videos more and more and further the field. And also, if you enjoy these videos, give the PayPal link in the description below. For, you can leave me enough for a cup of coffee to help support the channel and to the people who've already done that I really do thank you because you've got no idea how that does help this channel keep on going but as I say what do you think let me know about what your thoughts are have you bought the OM1 are you contemplating the OM1 have you decided against it and if so why let me know below till the next time keep on taking your photos keep on taking your camera out keep on taking your photos and keep on having fun with your photography because I'm certainly having fun out here Bye-bye.